Samantha had always enjoyed road trips. There was something about the open road that made her feel free. No deadlines, no work emails, just her, her car, and the miles stretching ahead. This particular trip was supposed to be a peaceful getaway, a solo journey through the countryside before the harsh winter weather settled in. She had taken a few days off from her job, packed up her car, and hit the road early one Friday morning, heading toward the remote cabin her family owned in the mountains of Montana. The drive was beautiful. Winding roads took her through thick forests, past glittering lakes, and up into the rolling hills where cell phone service dropped off and the world seemed to quiet down. By late afternoon, the sun hung low in the sky, casting an orange glow over the landscape. She had been driving for hours, but the peaceful scenery kept her calm and content. She figured she had about two more hours before reaching the cabin, just in time to settle in before dark. As she drove, she noticed the roads becoming more and more deserted. The occasional car or truck that had passed earlier in the day had now disappeared, leaving her completely alone on the winding narrow highway. The isolation didn't bother her much, she always preferred solitude, but it did make the road feel a little more eerie. The road signs had grown sparse, and there were no gas stations or convenience stores in sight, just endless miles of trees and open fields. It was as if she had driven into another world, where the only company she had was the hum of her engine and the rustling of the wind through the leaves. But as the sun began to dip below the horizon, she saw something up ahead, something unusual. A lone figure stood on the side of the road just beyond a bend. As her car approached, the figure became clearer, a man, dressed in worn-out clothes, with a backpack slung over one shoulder. He had his thumb out, signalling for a ride. Samantha's heart skipped a beat. It wasn't uncommon to see hitchhikers, especially on roads like this, but something about this man's presence felt out of place. Maybe it was the way he stood, too still, or the fact that he seemed to appear out of nowhere. The surrounding area was thick forest, and she hadn't passed any towns for miles. As her car drew closer, the man turned slightly to face her, his eyes locking with hers through the windshield. His face was gaunt, pale, with deep-set eyes that seemed too intense for a simple hitchhiker. A cold shiver ran down Samantha's spine, but she told herself she was being ridiculous. He probably just needed help. Still, something deep inside her told her to keep driving. She hesitated as she neared him, her foot lifting off the accelerator as her instinct to help battled with her growing sense of unease. The man's hand remained steady, his thumb pointing upward as he watched her approach. At the last second, Samantha made her decision. She sped up, passing the man without stopping. As she drove by, she caught a glimpse of his expression in her rearview mirror, a slow smile, wide and unsettling, spreading across his face. Samantha's heart raced as she sped down the highway her grip tightening on the steering wheel. The image of the hitchhiker's smile lingered in her mind, a sinister grin that seemed far too knowing, far too deliberate. She glanced at the rearview mirror again, half expecting to see him standing in the road, but he was gone. The highway behind her was empty, stretching out into the darkening horizon. She let out a shaky breath, trying to calm her nerves. You did the right thing, she muttered to herself. He could have been dangerous. But no matter how much she tried to reassure herself, the unease wouldn't go away. There was something about the man, his presence, his smile, that had felt wrong. She couldn't shake the feeling that she had just escaped something terrible. For the next hour, she drove in silence, her thoughts swirling as the landscape around her grew darker. The sun had fully set now, and the road was only illuminated by the dim glow of her headlights. Trees lined both sides of the highway, their branches casting long, skeletal shadows that danced as her car passed. Eventually, she saw a sign for a rest area just a few miles ahead. Her stomach growled, and she realized she hadn't eaten since morning. She figured it would be a good chance to stretch her legs, grab something from the cooler in the back seat, and calm down from the strange encounter. When she pulled into the rest area, it was deserted. There were a few picnic tables, a small bathroom, and a vending machine, but no other cars. She parked near one of the tables, leaving the engine running for a moment as she scanned the area. Everything seemed fine, and yet, a lingering sense of dread clung to her. She turned off the car and stepped out, the crisp night air biting at her skin. She opened the back door to grab her cooler, but as she did, she froze. From somewhere nearby, she heard the sound of footsteps. Slow, deliberate, crunching against the gravel. Her heart skipped a beat. 
She turned slowly, her eyes scanning the shadows beyond the faint glow of the parking lot lights. Hello? She called out, her voice wavering. No response. The footsteps stopped. Samantha stood perfectly still, her breath caught in her throat. She listened intently, but the only sound was the wind rustling through the trees. She waited a few moments longer, her nerves on edge, before convincing herself it had been her imagination. The isolation of the road was getting to her, that's all. She quickly grabbed a sandwich from the cooler and climbed back into the car, locking the doors behind her. She felt safer inside, but her unease lingered. Just as she was about to start the engine, something caught her eye. Her blood ran cold as she glanced at the rearview mirror. The hitchhiker. He was standing at the edge of the rest area, just barely visible in the shadows, his figure backlit by the moonlight. His face was obscured, but she knew it was him, the same man she had passed on the road, the same unsettling presence. How had he gotten here so fast? She had driven for at least an hour since she passed him, and there was no way he could have walked that distance. Samantha's breath quickened. Her hands trembled as she fumbled with the keys, starting the car as fast as she could. <coughs> she glanced at the mirror again, but the man hadn't moved. He just stood there, watching her. Without wasting another second, she slammed the car into gear and sped out of the rest area, her heart pounding in her chest. Samantha drove faster than she ever had in her life, her pulse racing as she kept glancing in the rearview mirror. The road ahead twisted and turned through the mountains, but her mind was fixed on the figure she had left behind. The man in the shadows, the hitchhiker. She couldn't explain how he had gotten there so quickly and she didn't want to think about it. All she knew was that something was terribly wrong. Her gut told her to keep moving to get as far away from him as possible, but as she sped down the highway, something else caught her attention. Headlights appeared in the distance behind her, growing closer and closer. It wasn't unusual to see another car on the road, but the speed at which it was approaching set her on edge. Within minutes, the vehicle was tailing her, its headlights bright in her rearview mirror blinding her. She squinted, her fingers gripping the steering wheel tightly as she tried to stay focused on the road ahead. But the car behind her didn't slow down. If anything, it sped up, inching closer and closer until it was nearly bumper to bumper with her. Panic surged through Samantha. She pressed the gas pedal harder, her heart racing. The car kept up, sticking close behind her, its headlights flooding the inside of her car with harsh light. She didn't dare slow down. She didn't dare stop. Was it him? The hitchhiker? Had he somehow found another vehicle? Her mind raced with possibilities, each one worse than the last. The road twisted sharply, and Samantha struggled to maintain control of the car. The vehicle behind her swerved as well, its headlights flickering as it followed her every move. The narrow, winding road made it impossible for her to outrun whoever was behind her, but she had no choice but to keep driving faster and faster. Suddenly, the car behind her swerved into the opposite lane, as if trying to pass her. Samantha's heart leaped into her throat. She tried to stay in her lane, her foot pressing harder on the gas, but the other car was right beside her now, its engine roaring as it drew level with her. She glanced over, and what she saw sent a wave of terror through her. It was the hitchhiker. He was in the passenger seat of the other car, staring directly at her, that same wide, unsettling smile plastered on his face. His eyes gleamed in the darkness, unblinking, as though he were enjoying the chase. Samantha's breath caught in her throat. The driver of the other car, a shadowy figure, swerved toward her, forcing her to jerk the wheel to avoid a collision. Her tires screeched against the road as she fought to keep control of the car. The hitchhiker didn't move. He just smiled. Samantha's mind was racing, her vision blurring with panic. She had to get away, had to escape, but the narrow, winding mountain road offered little in the way of options. There were no turnoffs, no side roads, nothing but the black, snaking asphalt ahead and the dense woods on either side. The car beside her kept pace, its driver swerving dangerously close, forcing her toward the edge of the road. One wrong move, and she could careen off the cliffside. Suddenly, she spotted something ahead, an intersection. A small dirt road branched off to the right, disappearing into the trees. She didn't know where it led, but it was her only option. Samantha took a deep breath, her heart pounding in her ears and made her move. At the last second, she jerked the wheel to the right, veering off the highway and onto the dirt road. Her tires skidded on the loose gravel, but she held firm, her hands gripping the steering wheel as she raced down the narrow path. Behind her, the other car screeched to a halt, unable to follow her onto the dirt road in time. For a moment, relief washed over her. She had escaped. But as she drove deeper into the woods, the trees closing in around her, that sense of safety quickly faded. The road was barely more than a trail, 
uneven and dark, with no signs of civilization in sight. She had no idea where it led, and her phone still had no signal. The headlights from the highway disappeared behind her, and soon she was alone, surrounded by nothing but darkness and the thick, oppressive silence of the forest. She kept driving, her foot heavy on the gas, hoping the road would lead to something, anything. But as the minutes ticked by, the reality of her situation began to sink in. She was lost. Samantha's hands trembled as she slowed the car, her headlights casting long shadows through the trees. She didn't want to stop, didn't want to stay on this isolated road for any longer than necessary, but she couldn't keep driving aimlessly in the dark. As she brought the car to a halt, her headlights illuminated something up ahead, a small clearing, with a dilapidated cabin sitting in the centre. A sense of dread settled over her, but she had no other choice. She couldn't stay on the road. She needed to figure out where she was, maybe find someone who could help her. With shaky hands, she turned off the engine and stepped out of the car. The air was cold, and the night was unnervingly quiet, the only sound the soft rustling of leaves in the breeze. She approached the cabin slowly, her heart pounding in her chest. The place looked abandoned, windows broken, the wooden door hanging slightly ajar. But something about it felt wrong. She was about to turn back when she heard it. Footsteps behind her. Samantha whipped around, her breath catching in her throat. Standing at the edge of the clearing, barely visible in the shadows, was the hitchhiker. His smile was gone now, replaced by something far darker, something predatory. You really shouldn't have run, he said, his voice low and cold. Samantha's blood ran cold. She didn't wait for him to say anything else. She turned and bolted toward the cabin, her heart pounding in her ears. The door creaked as she shoved it open, slamming it shut behind her. Her hands fumbled for something, anything to block the door, but the room was empty, save for a few broken pieces of furniture. Her breath came in ragged gasps as she backed away from the door, her eyes darting around the room. She could hear the hitchhiker's footsteps outside, slow and deliberate, drawing closer. You can't hide from me, he called out, his voice muffled through the door. Samantha's pulse raced. She had to find a way out, had to escape before he reached her. But as she turned to look for another exit, she froze. Standing in the corner of the cabin, half hidden in the shadows, was another figure a man. His clothes were dirty and torn, his face gaunt and pale, his eyes wide with fear. Before she could react, he whispered one word. Run! He man's voice was barely a whisper, but it cut through the air like a warning. Samantha's mind raced, her body frozen in place. Who was he? How had he gotten here? Was he part of this? Or was he another victim? Before she could ask, the door creaked open. The hitchhiker stepped into the cabin, his eyes locking onto Samantha with that same predatory intensity. He didn't look at the other man, didn't seem to acknowledge his presence at all. His focus was entirely on her. You didn't need to make this so difficult, he said, his voice smooth but cold. He took a step toward her, his movements slow and deliberate, as though savouring the fear radiating off her. Samantha's breath came in short, panicked gasps. She glanced around the room, her mind racing for a way out. There was a small window on the far wall, cracked and dirty, but it was her only chance. Without hesitation, she bolted for the window. The hitchhiker's smile widened as he lunged toward her, but she was faster. She threw herself through the window, the glass shattering as she tumbled out into the cold night air. Pain shot through her as she hit the ground, but she didn't stop. She scrambled to her feet, blood dripping from cuts on her hands and arms, and ran into the woods. Behind her, she could hear the hitchhiker's footsteps, closer now, his voice following her through the trees. You can't run forever, he called after her. I'll find you. Samantha's heart pounded in her chest, her legs burning as she pushed herself to run faster. The trees blurred around her, the darkness pressing in from all sides. Branches scraped against her skin, tearing at her clothes, but she didn't slow down. She didn't know where she was going. She didn't know how far she had to run. All she knew was that she couldn't stop, not until she was safe, not until she was far away from him. For what felt like hours she ran, the sound of the hitchhiker's footsteps fading into the distance. Eventually the trees thinned, and she stumbled out onto a gravel road, gasping for breath. A pair of headlights appeared in the distance. With what little strength she had left, Samantha waved her arms, desperately trying to flag down the car. The vehicle slowed as it approached, and the driver, an older man, rolled down the window, his face creased with concern. Are you okay, miss? he asked, his voice kind but wary. Samantha nodded, too exhausted to speak. She glanced back at the woods, half expecting to see the hitchhiker emerge from the darkness, but there was nothing just the empty trees. The man helped her into the car, his eyes filled with worry as he looked at the cuts on her arms and the terror in her eyes. I'll take you to the nearest town, he said, pulling back onto the road. You're safe now. 
But even as the car drove away, Samantha couldn't shake the feeling that she wasn't safe, that she would never truly be safe again, because somewhere out there, in the darkness of the woods, the hitchhiker was still searching. And he wasn't finished yet. Weeks passed, and Samantha tried to move on from the horrifying experience. She returned to her life, but the fear never left her. Every time she drove down a quiet road or found herself alone in a parking lot, she could feel his eyes on her. She checked the news constantly, searching for any reports of the hitchhiker, but there was nothing. No one had seen him. No one had reported a man like him stalking the roads. It was as if he had disappeared just as quickly as he had appeared that night. But Samantha knew better. He was still out there, waiting for his next victim, lurking in the shadows of the open road, where anyone could become his prey. And the next time someone saw a hitchhiker standing on the side of the road, they might not be as lucky as she had been. Because he was always watching. And he was always waiting.